Hey guys, just finished watching Doom Patrol, Season 1, Episode 11, Francis Patrol. Um, uh, <laughs> wow, this episode is, is pretty pretty interesting. So, we start off, we find that Star uh, Cyborg is getting stronger, he's kind of running some diagnostics and stuff, and this kind of plays into the next episode, in the trailer for the next episode. Um, and find that he's getting stronger, and even later on, cuts open his arm, and I guess he finds out that he's more getting becoming more and more machine i guess it's taken over um it's unclear as if you know he's finding out that he's more machine than he thought he would uh, all, all, all this long time um or if the machine is actually taken over and becoming part of him like his machine parts are kind of taken over his his uh um replacing himself is, is replacing his his bones with you know tech and stuff like that so i think that's going to be quite interesting to see as to where things go we see Cliff goes to see his uh, his daughter and stuff, and I think that's really going to be an interesting kind of uh, relationship as things kind of slowly builds up with that um, as he sees her here and there, and I like the idea of kind of slowly teasing her uh, like this and slowly building up the idea to her, you know, figure finding out to who he is. If he should have went there and just said everything, it wouldn't really work, and she wouldn't believe him and all that stuff, but the way they're kind of slowly building up, you know, um, uh, you know him doing action stuff instead of just going up and saying stuff and her kind of uh, building up to the point where she puts two and two together right and i think that could be kind of interesting to seeing as to where things go with that relationship um we see larry ends up going to see john this episode his old flame and stuff his old uh, lover and stuff and which was in it which was kind of an interesting scene and really cool seeing that um and we see cyborg is kidnapped um and then we get throughout this episode with a lot of uh during the flashbacks or the flashbacks or the the memories with with John, we hear a moon river and stuff. And at first, it's like I didn't I recognize the song, but I didn't recognize the like the sound of it and stuff. Uh, but I recognized kind of the tune, and um, and then I realized it's Moon River and stuff, which was sung by uh, Melissa Benoit in the Flash uh, Supergirl musical episode. So I think that was really cool seeing that. And I think uh, I think it would have been interesting is that they had put actually Melissa Benoit's version of this of the song over it. Um, I think that would have been kind of cool, especially since it was kind of very background. Uh, music and stuff um, I think that would have been kind of cool using that but at the same time if they had done that it probably would have been you know very kind of um, I think it would have confused the fans a little bit it confused a lot of people as to whether or not this is connected or, what, or whatever um, especially since that but since that actually that whole episode took place inside of their imaginations and stuff um, they could easily have used Melissa Benoist's version as, as the one for this song and I think that would have been kind of uh, uh, interesting for the, for this uh, this show but Oh, well, they used this one, which was pretty cool. Um, at the end of the episode, we see John dies and stuff, which was which was interesting. Uh, the way things kind of go, the way they did it, you know, it's just kind of like he had his last conversations together and stuff. So I think that was cool. Um, and I guess we won't see any more of John in the in the memories or stuff or the the dreams and stuff. So that'd be cool to see uh, where that goes. And then at the end, we see that Cliff end up got got the watch from. The alligator and stuff and at first throughout this whole episode i kept on thinking that out the alligator was um you know was going to be killer croc and stuff and i thought oh yeah i can do killer croc but just a regular alligator and then it reminded then i was and i saw the alligator like in mid in in mid air you know i was like oh yeah i remember this shot from the trailer and stuff so i guess it was a missed opportunity for them to kind of do um to try and do a, a killer croc again especially make him a lot better than he was in suicide squad um, so I think that could have been an opportunity that they obviously missed there, but we'll have to wait and see as to kind of where things kind of go. So all in all, this episode was kind of cool. Um, we really don't move too much forward or anything like that, trying to find out where 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 uh, uh, the chief is or anything like that. We don't even see Beard, uh, the Beard guy, Beard Hunter yet anymore. We don't see him, him in this episode, even though they talk about how he's their only kind of lead to possibly finding uh, the chief. So I think it'll be interesting to see as to where things go in this in a few episodes. Hopefully, we get to see the beard uh, hunter come back to try and help them find stuff because I think he's the only he's the, the key to kind of you know moving this show forward. Because you know I get the idea is to not move the show forward for, for the show since it's been so long and we still haven't. You know, we're still at the same spot where we were last uh, after like the second or third episode in, in trying to find, um, you know, the chief, you know. So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go, but I'd like to see them kind of start to push the, the story along forward and I'd like to see more of, you know, Mr. Nobody and um, as to where things could go with him. So let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.